Hello and welcome into another edition of Inside Tiger Football, brought to you by Rib Crib. I'm Adam Hildebrandt, joined, of course, by Broken Arrow Tiger head football coach Josh Blankenship as we break down last week's win over Owasso and look ahead uh, to this week's contest in the semifinals against Union. And coach, as, as we get started here, I, I want to give you a chance to kind of brag on your players. Uh, you lost to Owasso in week three, and you've clearly, you know, steadily improved over the course of the year. Six game winning streak now, and you come back and beat Owasso uh, in the state playoffs. Uh, what what has most impressed you about the growth of this group this year? Uh, they're buy-in to do whatever we ask them to do. Um, I mean, we've talked about it as the season's gone on, but we've asked guys to move, you know, one position to another, to a third position. Some guys, um, you know, our structure for practice, our weekly preparation is was unique to them, and they didn't flinch at it, and they've completely embraced everything we've asked them to do, and, and they're seeing success along with that, which, which helps make that even more special. Practice structure-wise, what, what did you guys change up? What did they have to kind of get used to over the course of this year? Instead of bringing them up on Saturdays, we bring them up on Sunday afternoon uh, to watch the film, kind of give the message for the week, uh, the game plan for the week. Uh, we go hard on Monday, Tuesday. Um, you know, when I was playing in high school, we would go hard on Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, we have a, uh, a light walkthrough on Wednesday, a very uh, mental uh, – mental focus day and then Thursday we crank it back up again not physically with pads on but we do fly around and get some reps in on Thursday it's just different and uh, I believe in it and it, it's really cool to see the players having you know learn to believe in it and embrace it do you feel like uh, having that day off Saturday and then getting into film on Sunday does that give you some more continuity in terms of trying to you know keep everything together over the course of that week instead of film Saturday and then get it back up and going on Monday? Yeah, it does a couple things. Uh, it allows guys to go to college games, which, you know, if you got guys trying to be recruited, they want to go make those visits on Saturdays. Um, it also gives the coaching staff another day to kind of get that plan and that message ready for the guys as opposed to feeling rushed and it just only be review. Um, we feel like we can kind of combine it all in one day and, and take, you know, better advantage of our time. You know, Friday's game against Owasso had, had a, a few big back-and-forth swings. I mean, you guys were up early. Owasso uh, – was able to claim the lead in those middle two quarters, and then uh, Broken Air obviously came back and, and won it in the fourth. How did you feel like the guys dealt with the the emotional swings over the course of that ball game? They stayed poised. Um, you know, the whole sideline was – we kind of had a boxing theme going into this week and heavyweight fights. So, you know, those those big ones going to the, you know, 10, 11, 12 rounds, and we knew Owasso was still going to take their swings and, and land some. Uh, and we wanted to go the whole, whole 12 rounds. And we've talked about it, and that was the first time we'd been tested this year to, uh, to really have that chance to, to show that and respond that way. And we had phenomenal leadership by our guys, and everybody was in, ready to go whatever distance it took. Uh, we were talking a moment ago about you know, practice plans during the course of the week, putting together a game plan. What, what parts of the game plan do you feel like was, was most well executed in that game against Owasso? Well, everybody talks about the, the trick plays and uh, what we call them gadgets or shenanigans, um, but we've done that all year, um, you know, probably not as much or as, you know, with as good a timing as we did in this game, but what it boiled down to was the guys executed those things. Um, those were kind of the icing on the cake because what we really did well was on defense, we flew to the football. Um, I mean, we've got some clips where there's 10, 11 guys all at the ball carrier. Um, and then on offense, we did what we do best, which everybody knows is outside zone and counter. Uh, Marion, Nate, Sterling running the football, and then when we had those opportunities for those uh, goofy kind of plays, the guys executed. Yeah, you guys continue to, to run the ball really well. Obviously, Marion Horn's a big part of that, but uh, you saw several different guys carrying the football. And the list, when you look at the season stats, yeah. the list of guys who have carried the football this year is like 10 or 12 guys deep. Mm -hmm. It's it's huge. Uh, for, a, for an entire group to perform like that and, and consistently get better and better over the course of the year, Lyman, tight ends, running backs, quarterbacks at time carrying the football. Uh, have you guys just – was running the football always an emphasis from, from day one uh, and they grew into that, or, or how did that play out in terms of that being such an emphasis on this team? A little both. Um, you know, I, I've always wanted to have a balanced offense. You know, my previous stint uh, at Adams State, we, we tried to throw the ball more to set up the run, um, but still wanted a balanced attack. Um, that hasn't changed. We still want a balanced attack, but we know what we're good at, um, partly because, you know, our, our staff does a good job of coaching uh, those things that we do, and then we've got the guys that can execute it. And so if you know who you are and you do that well, it, you'd be foolish to go away from it. And, of course, you're still throwing the ball for, I think it's right at 160 yards mm -hmm. a game on the year. Is that enough to, to, that you feel like you've kept a sense of balance over the course of the year? Well, it has been for six weeks. So if, if we can – 
if that's enough of a balance to get a win, then yes, the answer is definitely yes. You guys were uh, five of six scoring when you got into the red zone in that game against Owasa. That was something that was a little bit more of a struggle early on in the year. What, what has led to that improvement? I think guys just uh, um, being more committed to that situation. Um, you know, once you get in there, there's got to be something that goes off in, in, in your brain that makes you operate a little differently. You know, Sterling did a good job of throwing some balls away down there, um, and that's critical. You don't want to take sacks when you get in the red zone. Uh, we might have been six for six if we uh, don't get that holding penalty that would have put us up 21 to nothing, and then we uh, didn't hit the field goal right after that. But uh, it's just a, they value it. Uh, we spend time on it in practice, and, and they're getting better at it. Uh, Tigers also dominated time of possession in that game, which is not something that's necessarily been the case all year. How did, how did that play out against Owasso? Uh, defense got some turnovers. Uh, that's going to change up time of possession really quickly. Um, you know, and then we were getting first downs, and that, that's the, uh, the, the trick in being good on offense is how good are you on first down. And we spent a lot of time as a staff trying to decide what our openers were going to be because um, we knew how critical first down was going to be. That's Broken Arrow Tiger football head coach Josh Blankenship. We'll be back with more in just a moment. This is Inside Tiger Football, brought to you by Ribcrit. Meet Andrea, a member at TTCU Federal Credit Union. Hi. Andrea is one busy person. The last thing she needs is her finances holding her back. Since I've joined TTCU, I've been able to save even more money. I'm building my emergency fund, and I watch my credit score like a hawk. Thanks for everything, TTCU. Join Andrea and become a member at TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Welcome back. It's Inside Tiger Football brought to you by Rib Crib. I'm Adam Hildebrand alongside Josh Blankenship. And, Coach, uh, we've been talking about that win against Owasso on Friday. After a win like that, uh, where's the confidence level of this team right now? Confidence level is the easy part right now. Um, I think the the challenge that we have is is can we get out of a hangover of a big win? Uh, we did not do that well. Uh, I believe we went and played Norman right after that big win against Santa Fe, and we're just kind of sleepy and tired. And um, you know, it's not for a lack of want. Or um, I think you, the key, especially in these games, if you're going to put back to back big wins, is you've got to match your your opponent's intensity. And we know Union's going to be intense. They've got their sights set on a goal ball, just like everybody that's left. Um, but I think that's really what it's going to boil down to. You, know, you mentioned earlier talking about uh, the, the style of a boxing match and knowing Owasso was going to take some swings. They so were able to hit a, a couple of big plays in that game, 40-plus yards. Uh, what's the key to trying to, to learn from that and then improve upon that going into next week? Well, one of the simple ones for me is our kickoff coverage has got to be better. And obviously Owasso had a special guy in Cole Adams back there um, um, returning those kicks. But uh, I'd like to see us improve. Uh, in that going into next week um, you know ultimately we've got to continue to focus on us um, you know if we spend too much time like always every week if we spend too much time on the other people the opponent uh, I think you slip up there you talked about uh, a couple of clips where you had 10 plus guys at the football defensively yeah. what else stood out to you about the defense in that game against Owasso opportunistic man uh, you know offense did a good job of not turning the ball over but then the defense I believe had three turnovers um, at very critical moments uh, you know you're hoping somebody's going to step up when you're down a couple scores and then next thing you know we get a strip sack and we're able to go punch it in that's huge when the defense can produce the ball for your offense that's a big deal Absolutely, and, and we've talked some about, well, we've talked a lot this year about Dietrich Moore and what, what yep. he brings to this football team. This team has now had a few weeks to adjust without having him in the middle of that defense. Do you feel like those guys who, who got moved in and kind of thrust into action have, have settled into their roles a little bit? Yeah, and, and they're still unsettled enough to be very hungry and coachable right now. Um, you know, we've talked about, you got Austin Newell, who was playing quarterback at one point, was in playing tight end and is now playing linebacker. He's really highly productive right now, um, and, and he, if he'll stay on edge, he's going to end up being a great, great linebacker for us. Doing a great job. Cooper Bates has been in there asking Jadean Floyd Wright to uh, kind of adjust where he is on the field. Uh, a lot of asks of our guys, and they continue to, to respond. You talked about uh, special teams in the kick coverage game. Uh, in terms of kick returns, and then let's, let's talk about some field goals as well because you, you got a, a couple weapons there. It seems like those have been pretty consistently good over the mm -hmm. course of this season. They have been, and, and when you can trust them to knock those through, you don't hesitate on making a call unless you're trying to do something goofy like a fake field goal. But uh, <laughs> um, we trust those guys. Hunter Martins has done a great job. Caleb Young has done a great job. And we've, what we've really done well is done, especially on field goal, is protecting those guys on the kicks. Not getting a whole lot of threat, um, you know, for a blocked field goal, which that, that gives you a lot more confidence in that as well. We're talking with Broken Arrow Tiger head football coach Josh Blankenship. We'll be back with more in just a moment. This is Inside Tiger Football, brought to you by Rib Crib. Just a reminder, 
there will come a time when they can no longer share a bedroom. That's why we have a complete array of home loans, so that dream of more space can come true. Right on time. First National Bank of Broken Arrow. The right balance. Welcome back to Inside Tiger Football, brought to you by Rib Crib. I'm Adam Hildebrandt, and we're joined now by senior Jadayan Floyd Wright, who's a linebacker, safety. What 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 position do you play exactly? <laughs> I play outside linebacker. Outside linebacker, okay. He's flying around the field all the time, so it really doesn't matter as long as he gets lined up in the right spot. Uh, obviously, you guys have had a, a big year defensively. You guys have gotten better and better throughout the course of this year. Uh, what would you say is kind of the, the, the mantra of this defense or, or what you guys kind of like to hang your hat on? I like to hang our hat on is building over little things. Make sure we do it all little things right, execute them fast as fast as we can. You guys obviously yeah, had a, had a new coaching staff this year. You had a new defensive coordinator. How long did it take you to kind of settle into the, to the new schemes and the new system? Oh, I think it's a minute. <laughs> as you've seen, our first four games wasn't the best, but once you start learning who we are, who we were, it kept on rolling. Obviously, uh, you know you guys lost to Owasso in Week Three. You come back and you beat them uh, in the in the playoffs. Now to make make it to the semifinals uh, for you guys as a as a group, how did that feel? Did that give you guys like a new shot of confidence to be able to come back and and uh, beat a team that beat you early in the year? Oh, we've had amazing, but we got to forget forget about it and move on. So you guys uh, lost Dietrich Moore to injury a few games ago and, and kind of had to recalibrate some things defensively. As a group, do you feel like you guys have been able to kind of, you know, get, plug some new guys on in there and, and just kind of keep on rolling? Yes, yeah, so we've, we've improved, but it's Dietrich Moore. <laughs> Need that guy, but got to move on. What would you say individually from your perspective? What's the strength of your game? My strength is my speed. Speed? So it, – it, as you guys, one one thing that you know, modern football now with these spread offenses, they like to get guys out in space, and then the defense has to kind of flow to the football. Um, is that would you guys consider that a strength as a group? Do you think? Yes, sir, we will. All right, that is Jadayan Floyd Wright, <laughs> senior defender, outside linebacker for the Tigers. Uh, they're taking on Owasso, or excuse me, taking on Union this week at Owasso after the win over Owasso last week. So uh, we'll be looking forward to that on Friday. More to come. This is Inside Tiger Football, brought to you by Rib Crib. Recently, you've had to put your life on hold, and we're with you in this. At Ascension St. John, we're now open for appointments, and we are fully prepared for your safety in our care. As we open our doors again, our doctors, nurses, and care teams will continue to wear personal protective equipment. We've taken even more steps to clean and stringently disinfect all areas. We will maintain distancing in our waiting rooms, and will continue to limit visitors and we will still screen all staff to protect their health and yours. Our emergency rooms are here 24 seven. Please do not delay care. We're still delivering babies and performing surgeries, and we're open for your appointments from specialists in surgical care to routine care and health screenings. Ask us about virtual visits. Ascension St. John continues to care for you as we have been for almost a century. Thank you for trusting us. Welcome back one more time to Inside Tiger Football, brought to you by Rib Crib. Thanks again to Jaday and Floyd Wright for joining us a moment ago. And we're joined, of course, again by Broken Arrow Tiger head football coach, Josh Blankenship. Coach, uh, you got a union team that you matched up with in week two in a, in a, a close contest. And, and this is a union team that's got a lot of size up front. they got a lot of speed on the perimeter. Uh, what challenges are, are they presenting now as opposed to in week two? Uh, you know, similar challenges. They, they've had to move some things around as well. They've got a different guy quarterback now with uh, Grayson Tempest being out. Um, Rovon is uh, highly, highly explosive. Um, I, the way we kind of jokingly compare it is if we had put Marion at quarterback with another Marion to hand the ball off. <laughs> um, so it's uh, their, their team speed, I think, is the best in the state, uh, at least from what we've seen. Um, and that'll be the biggest challenge is can we – um, even if we can't by matchup beat their team speed, can we, you know, as a as a unit compete with that? Yeah, the thought of two Marions in any backfield is, is kind of terrifying. Yeah. But uh, you know, it's it's a game in which you're playing Union at Owasso, mm-hmm. so you, it's a neutral site game. Neither team has to drive far, but it seems like going and playing at a different football stadium is kind of old news to the team at this point. We're used to that. I'm, I'm grateful we don't have to go to the West Side. Um, you know, it's an odd year where it should be over there. It just happens to be that we've got you know two. 
uh, east side teams in the semis. So uh, Wasso was gracious enough to let us play there. I'm grateful for that. Um, you know, it's it's more in our backyard than, than going all the way to the west side. What uh, What is one thing that Broken Arrow has to do well on Friday to beat Union? We've got to match their or beat their intensity. Um, we've got to uh, be poised even while we're trying to match intensity uh, of not losing our composure. Uh, last time we played in that game, it got pretty chippy. We've got to do a better job of that. Um, you know, if we can, you know, the old cliches about field position, winning on special teams and turnover battles, um, you know, especially in these heavyweight fights, as we like to call them, that, that's going to be critical. Spot in the state championship game on the line Friday night when Broken Arrow meets Union at Owasso. Looking forward to it. That's Josh Blankenship and Madam Hildebrandt. You've been tuned in to Inside Tiger Football, brought to you by Ridgeford.